hello beautiful people and welcome back to my youtube channel <music> before I start I can enroll in the house because when we washing so the washing machine is currently rolling and I do have a three-year-old so it's currently playing so if there is any disruption and noise just remember it's that so welcome back to my YouTube channel welcome back to another sit down video I'll show you guys as you can tell from the title of today's video this is a sit down video another disclaimer i'm not in any way trying to be a motivational speaker or any of those i think there is more than enough on this here internet i'm just here to share and if any of what i have to say um doesn't impact you that's fine and then if it does i'm so so happy so welcome back to my youtube channel guys and if you have not subscribed do the right thing you know what to do please click on that subscribe button and if you are a subscriber then welcome back and thank you so so much for joining me today as you can tell get guys from the title of today's video we are recapping on um a vision board all that she banged that we did in the beginning of the year sorry <coughs> I am currently suffering a bit of a flu so if you do hear like a snot in my voice or anything like that that is the reason why so guys as we all know we are currently now in, in we're at the beginning of term two which is got a two of the year what is going on with our patients are we still on track with our vision boards is everything still going okay and this is not to judge anyone um about the about the progress that they have made so far um it's just to recap and share uh, my own experience with my own vision board and where i am currently i do have a vision board it's right here in front of me i'm not going to show you guys i am a human being um, and I feel like if I do show you this vision board and then things don't go according to plan because oh wait we might plan but the but God um, decides for all of us what's going to happen so I did write down the vision in January I did create my own vision board and yes so I might at the end of the year I might just come back show you my vision board and then go through it and then say okay this is what i did this came through this did not come through what's the plan going forward so in january i did make my own vision board in my um i've never done a vision board before this was um the first year ever that i've done one and it was inspired by umbumili duaba um if you know me or if you do follow me on instagram you'd know that i'm a very big fan or i don't know what to call it but i really like boomy i really um enjoy her content so she has been big on uh, creating vision boards and everything so i just decided, i just decided this year and last year beginning of this year that i'm gonna make a vision board for myself and then see where, where it takes me i mean i've got nothing to lose so i did one uh how did i do my vision board what i did i i wrote down 10 goals or visions that i have for myself for this year i wouldn't say it's necessarily for this year for me it's the just for the way forward like from the beginning of the year um forward up until whenever but these are like this is the vision of how i want to live my life this is the vision of how i want my life to be i wouldn't say these are specific to 2023 no but they are like it's like a vision that i have for my life how i want to live my life going forward and everything like that so i did write them uh, into 10 bullet points on my journal and then under each specific point i wrote down how do i plan to 
achieve the specific vision how do i plan to achieve the specific goal for my life and how do i plan to sustain um this way of living for myself i hope that i am making sense so that's how i did my vision board so this is the journal that i'm currently using i got this journal from Kumbox. it is uh, a very pink a journal i am in love with pink and then it says be still which is psalms 46 verse 10 and what i love about this journal on each and every page at the bottom there there's like short bible verses so i really really love that specific touch on it so i am going to be paging through this journal because i made a few points about what i want to say today to keep it short and yeah to keep it sweet and short so quarter one has come to an end how is the vision going i think that's going to be the title of today's video so vision board and listing my goals in a journal as i said in point form and how i plan how i plan on achieving each and one of the vision or goals that i wrote down number one i kept my goals very realistic to myself and to my current lifestyle so um i wouldn't say previously in the past i haven't had visions for my life i think we all do when the new year new me new year's resolutions uh, time come i always had that i always had like uh, what do i want in new year's resolutions for my life but what i realized all along i was never realistic about the goals about the visions that i had for my life so this year what i've changed is to be realistic to be realistic is possible things can happen this is life as in using those unpredictable but try to be as realistic as you can so i can't say at this specific moment in my life that i envision a ferrari that is that is that is really impossible for me at this point so i want to be as realistic as possible and in in my specific life at the moment i can't say that i want to travel five times a year that is unrealistic with the current economy of the world in our country um so like being realistic to your lifestyle as much as possible and also I don't know guys how to put it but be realistic don't we can't copy goals you can't copy goals from your neighbor or from a, or from a friend or from your sister or from your brother your goals have to be your goals your visions have to be your visions for your life in a realistic manner for your own life okay so that's number one number two how is everything going on my vision board at the current moment i can say that some some days are good and some days are bad and i allow myself those bad days i allow myself to rest rest is very important guys i allow myself bad days i allow myself rest i allow myself to recharge when i'm tired i relax and i take time out i become a potato on the bed the entire day like i i give myself so much grace so some days are good some days are bad okay that is how um my goals are going that is how my visions are going i am i do feel like i'm on the right path but um we are nowhere near any of them uh, being completed or to fruition it's only quarter one of the year that has come to an end we still have three more quarters to go so number two is accountability 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 for each and every little action that i do on a daily basis and look at it and how it contributes to the end goal how it contributes to the vision um we are humans okay? i can't always be like watching myself and doing that but in moments where i catch myself i'm like okay so what am i doing at this moment and how is this contributing to the vision a book that i'm currently reading that is helping me adopt 
healthy habits towards my vision is atomic habits by james clear i'm sure you guys have seen this book doing the rounds on, on social media it is a best a best seller and it's been trending i got myself this book on my trip to saudi arabia i started reading it on the flight back to south africa and my mind was blown i was mind blown i loved it from that minute and i've never put it down i'm currently um on page 64 and page 65 so when i spoke about those habits like looking at your daily habits and how each specific habit contributes to 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 the vision to the end goal on this book on page 64 and page 65 james clear says one of our greatest challenging in changing our habits is maintaining awareness of what we are actually doing this helps explain why the consequences of bad habits can sneak up on us. We need a point and call system for our personal lives. That's the origin of the habit scorecard, which is a simple exercise you can use to become more aware of your behavior. To create your own, make a list of your daily habits. And here's a sample of where your list might start. For example, a list of your daily habits can look like wake up, Brush your teeth, turn off alarm, floss your teeth, check your phone, go to the bathroom, wear yourself, take a shower, put on deodorant, hang up towel to dry, get dressed, make a cup of tea, blah, blah, blah. And then next to each habit, we have a plus sign, which is, uh, that's a positive habit. We have a negative sign, which says that's a negative habit. And then we have an equal sign, which says that is a neutral habit. So I think that that could uh, really help. That has helped me to look at my daily habits and which ones are positive which ones are negative and which ones are neutral so i hope that i am making sense guys accountability again accountability for my past mistakes i'm looking at my past but not to dwell on it just to look at the mistakes that i've done in the past and what were the lessons that were that I was supposed to learn in those mistakes because I, I'm a firm believer that if you don't learn your lesson in the mistakes that you do, then you'll keep making those mistakes. Hope that I'm making sense so that I can learn the lesson and forgive myself for those mistakes. Self forgiveness, guys, self forgiveness, and forgive myself for those mistakes in order to move forward. And intention, intention, intention. At the beginning of the year, on the video that I did with my best friend, Uunona, we did say that intention is the word for 2023. Intention, guys, it, it, it's, it's very, it's been life-changing for me. Being intentional about the things that I do. Being aware about the things that I do. Um... And being intentional about the things that I need to do in order to achieve that goal, in order to achieve that vision. And also being intentional about doing the hard things. And if you are a follower or listener of Mpumi Lidwaba's podcast, Wisdom and Wellness, is it Wisdom and Wellness? I think it's called Wisdom and Wellness. It is on April podcast. But on this specific conversation that she had with Amanda Mbongwa, Amanda said that, that she she can do hard things. And I think that was like a mouthful on its own for me. Like, you should be able to do hard things. Like, hard things, guys, are waking up in the morning and going to work. That is not easy. That is a very hard thing. And being dedicated to your career and working very hard, that is a hard thing on its own. Going to gym is a very hard thing. Um, eating healthy is a very hard thing. Deciding to lose weight or to live a healthy lifestyle and, 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 and like, be focused on it and ignore your, your favorite foods that's a very hard thing to do like the hard things guys will get us the best results so being intentional about doing the hard things and choosing to do hard things on a daily basis and one of the hard things that i've done this year for myself number one is going back to school 
that has been the hardest decision ever because I, we always look at like i don't have time i don't have money i don't have this i don't have that but that's a hard thing that's a hard decision to make that's a hard thing to do because i have to squeeze in some studying time in between like whatever i do on a daily basis number two i've always been going to gym but the hard thing that i've done this year is to join the grid class if you are a virgin active babe you'll know the grid class i've always looked at it from afar you didn't know this is a class for like sorry guys like this is a class for like a fitness enthusiast like those girls got here but life is fit is the like i never pictured myself in there but i started attending the grid class this year and it's been amazing I always feel like a winner when I step out of that class. So that is another hard thing that I chose to do for myself this year. And another thing is like running. I've always ran like lot but not consistently or any long distances. But this year I've challenged myself on running 10 kilometers. It's not easy guys. I'm not saying any of these things are easy. That's why it's called hard things. But the hard things are rewarding at the end of the day. So I started running 2 kilometers. That's 5 kilometers. Now I can run 10 kilometers. Like what? Who is this girl? Yes. She is who she thinks she is. And another hard thing is putting myself out there. Like in, 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 in uncomfortable spaces. But spaces that will help me grow and help me become a better person so i'm putting myself out there into very uncomfortable spaces in spaces that i would never have put myself in before but because we are doing the hard things i'm pushing myself and squeezing myself into those spaces that will elevate me and help me reach the goal and reach the vision um and giving yourself a break giving yourself a break guys giving yourself a break like we can't push seven days a week that is quite impossible that is that is impossible so give yourself a break in between push for three days give yourself a day off push for another three days give yourself a day off like give yourself a break so that the hard things do not seem like they don't weigh you down like give yourself a break guys to relax and recharge so that you can be ready to go again before i ramble too much i think i think um this is going to be my second last point and then my last point we are gonna however come back guys at the end of time to sit down and talk about the vision again um keep your vision board visible in your house in your wherever you are it must always be visible to your eye you must always see it it will spark that thing oh this is the vision i have to walk towards this for me i i really like seeing it looking at it and saying okay see akuba apa okay we are slacking here okay what can we do here okay they are both in this jar so keep your vision board visible and i speak to my vision board i pray when I stand in front of my vision board, like, I do whatever I want to do in front of it, looking at it, like, going crazy. It might seem crazy, but it's not. Last uh, point is consuming content. I mean, we're always on our phones, so we might as well consume content that is centered around your vision, that is centered around your goal. At the moment, I am consuming a lot of fashion content a lot of um health healthy living fitness parenting luxury homes like luxurious spaces um motivational quotes be it fitness motivation financial motivation like all things that make me feel good and slow living what else um i did write down some notes here because i don't want to I'm, 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 I'm consuming a lot of Sarah Jakes Roberts. We, she is a pastor. She's a, she's a pastor. So she, she, she gives me a lot of uh, motivation towards my faith, towards um, God. So she pushes me so much towards my um, 
my faith and then spirituality I, I consume a lot of spiritual content it doesn't have to be christian for me at this specific specific point i am exploring other uh, religions other spiritual beliefs that people believe in like to expand my spiritual knowledge um yeah I, I think that's the most that i'm consuming that's the most content that i'm consuming at the moment and also podcasts i'm listening to quite a lot of podcasts i'm listening to umpumilu duaba as i said i am listening to um to my sisters i am listening to ukuku ogio I'm listening to her. Who else am I listening to? From time to time, I'm going to listen to Oprah. I do listen to Pastor T.D. Jakes and Sarah Jakes Roberts. Also watching a lot of YouTube videos around um, around that, around the vision, around my goals. Also TikTok videos, Instagram. My whole f explore page on Instagram is curated now around this is the specific content that i'm currently consuming so i mean goals and visions don't have to be boring they don't have to be uh, stiff and all of that when you're on your we always on our phones guys so you might as well use them for the best when you're on tiktok look for things that will inspire the things that will push you towards the vision on instagram follow the people that will push you towards your vision look at their lives and stuff like that but this will all change next um next month i might not be consuming this specific content and that is okay so the vision is to grow the vision is to elevate the vision is to change so it will change and that that is okay guys changing is okay growing is okay so next month i might not be consuming the content that i'm consuming now next year definitely not so it's okay to to change tomorrow when i don't want to consume that content and unfollow that person that is okay that is okay i hope guys i didn't ramble a lot i hope what i said made sense please let me know down in the comment section guys what you thought and if i should continue with this at the end of term two um if you have not subscribed by now then you don't know what the vision is then you go <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching my video. I hope you guys really did enjoy. I enjoyed this. I think I am enjoying this. I am becoming more comfortable with sitting down and talking to you guys. I hope I made an impact even if it's one person that has taken something from this rambling of mine. Love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for um, being a big part of my channel. Thank you so much for supporting. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.